Hey guys, today I want to introduce our new project. Maybe you have seen our recent post on social media. And here it is. We want to electrify this go-kart. It's a really cool stuff, which also works really good without motor. But its owner Jonas needs more power. So let's take a closer look at this shit. We decided to use the proven and powerful Bafan PBSHD mid-drive motor with 160 newton meter torque. And very important, we don't want to drill any holes into the frame. It should remain as untouched as possible. But there's one problem. The go-kart can be moved forward and backward by pedaling. With a mid-drive motor, it only can be moved forward. There's a clutch inside the gearbox, which prevents movement to the rear. Here you can see the clutch. And the teeth. You can only move in one direction. Backwards is not possible. This is important with the e-bike because we don't want the cranks to move while using throttle. However, since the steering angle of this go-kart is not really large, reversing would already be important. Now we have two possibilities. Install the motor as it is, backwards it has to be pushed by hand. Or second option, we glue the freewheel so that it works forward and backward. If we decide for second option, then we must be aware that the cranks will rotate with throttle operation. Since this motor has cadence control and no torque control, we also need to install a safety mechanism, because the motor would no longer stop when the cranks are always moving. This can be dangerous if the go-kart is parked in operation and someone touches the cranks. The go-kart would simply start moving and won't stop. The use of a brake sensor could be a possible solution. Maybe we can mount this brake sensor somewhere at the mechanical handbrake. Another possibility would be to deactivate bus support by programming and to enable the motor support only by using throttle. With this, we won't need a safety mechanism. If you have another simple solution, please leave a comment below. Of course, the motor will be placed at the bottom bracket at this point. Here we could place the battery, it would easily accessible and protected by this cover plate. The display should be mounted somewhere here, we will need an idea for this. I think the throttle position would be nice here at the handbrake lever. And we will need a speed sensor to capture the speed. Maybe at one of the rear tires. In principle, we only need to mount the magnet on the rotating part. This can also be the chain ring, for example. We could also operate the system without display by connecting two wires, but we want to use it. This is also possible with the speed sensor, but we want to see the actual speed on the display screen. If you have some good ideas about our project, we'd love to read the comment. As mentioned, we don't want to drill any holes or something like that. 